Hello, it's 10 o'clock. Welcome to the weather update, August 22nd. And, yep, we got gypped again with the rain. Uh, New Jersey, on the other hand, some of the areas got absolutely drenched. And you'll be amazed. You'll see here. Look, the satellite tells the story. All the stuff's popping up to our west, and none of it's making the Long Island. Um, and we got a little light rain this morning from some showers. And, I mean, that was pretty much it. Um, we really just... I mean, Jersey's getting in on all the action here. Uh, again, once again, you can see um, a heavy cell right here over, it looks like, southeast of Trenton. Um, so there's another that and that. And if we look at the actual radar here, you'll see here it is again, the uh, AccuWeather radar here. And we'll just put this into motion so you can see where it is going. And you can see it's, again, that northwest to south. Oh, there was a hook echo there. There could have been a tornado in that. Did you see that? Hold on. Right here. Look at this. So this is right around Mount Holly. Look at that. You can see that little... That's a sign of a severe thunderstorm there. That was an intense thunderstorm. So it looks like it hit around, right, very hard around Mount Holly. We'll have to check up on that as well. Uh, but again, we've been missing out on all the action again. Um, and we'll just show you what happened with the skies today before I get to this other stuff here. Uh, we had... You know, cloudy skies, and then the skies got pretty interesting uh, toward the afternoon. We had uh, some multi cumulus, some cirrus, some on the multi level sky here. A mix, a little mix of everything. Very tropical looking because uh, it was it was humid out there, but not not at all that hot. Uh, and then you could see uh, again. Here's another look at that tropical looking sky, and you could see some thunderstorms there. Uh, that you could see we we had anvils all around us. There's one right there. Um, Another one right there. You can see these anvils. Uh, they were all around us to the northwest, to the west, uh, everywhere. But unfortunately, um, it all missed us. It all missed us. There's another one looking to the north there. Uh, of course, the view from Belmore, you get a good view of all the activity there. But again, look at this interesting sky right there. Low-level stratocumulus or almost fractocumulus clouds with Cirrus up above, uh, and uh, we'll a few more here to show you again. This was impressive. This this was toward the evening, uh, around 5.30. Um, we had this huge uh, thunderstorm off to the west, uh, and you could see, look at the cloud it was producing here. You can almost see, it almost had the look of a supercell almost, with that kind of look there. Very interesting skies today. Uh, threatening clouds, but no storm, no rain for us, unfortunately. Uh, so let's go take a look at our current conditions and rainfall across the area. And you'll see current conditions here. Uh, temperatures in the mid-70s. Dew points around 70. Of course, it's closer to the 80 in the alley. Um, and you can see generally mid-70s everywhere with dew points also 70 or above. So not that hot, but definitely on the humid side. Uh, if we look at the high temperatures today, see what we got up to today. Uh, 80, yeah, low 80s pretty much. That would, that pretty much did it. Low 80s for pretty much everybody. Uh, the sun did come out later, but it wasn't enough to really get things to heat up too much. Uh, but the, the precipitation is where we really fall short. Uh, and you will see here we will go to the... Uh, actually, we could do it this way. We could do 24-hour uh, precipitation. Um, and you will see here, Long Island really barely got anything here. Um, we got gypped. Uh, we got gypped. There's one area in the North Shore. It looks like they got a lot, but I mean, literally, barely anything. Just enough to wet the ground, pretty much, in most areas. There's a little heavier stuff right over the Brookhaven area where they got, you know, Shirley, Mastic, uh, Brookhaven Town, Southern Brookhaven Town, maybe, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch there, but and, and a little more to the east end. Montauk wound up picking up 1.20 uh, because of a heavy cell that went over there, but everybody else is remaining dry. However. New Jersey is a totally different story. Uh, and uh, you'll see here that we had some pretty heavy amounts here with the rainfall. We wait for this to load. Of course, this is why I use the other site. But you can see over an inch. Look at this. some of these areas here. Over an inch of rain here. Some of these heavy thunderstorms. They actually had to have some flash flood warnings in effect for parts of Staten Island. And, um, and this area right here, right across the river there. And I think it's called... Perth Amboy, uh, 1.50 inches, 2.01. So they, they don't have to worry so much about a drought anymore, but Long Island remains like a desert. Uh, and then let's go into New Jersey here now, and you'll see. Now, northern parts of Ocean County, Middlesex, 
Southern Middlesex, Monmouth counties didn't really wind up getting that much. But look what happens when you head now. Tom's River itself didn't get that much, but once you go south of Tom's River, uh, there were some heavy cells that wound up hitting this area. And look at this. There was a 3.41 inch reading over there at Harvey C. 5.78 recorded in some parts of LBI. So this is insane. And that wound up causing a lot of flooding. And you can see here uh, from the Mount Holly update, there was fl flood warnings in effect. There were a couple of rounds there of heavy rain. And if we go here, you will see... Uh, find it right here you know they had some pictures here yeah here we go flood warnings issued or they didn't have any pictures no pictures of course patch you suck <laughs> of course <laughs> what else is new uh with them no they don't even actually have any pictures uh but there was ocean flooding in ocean county so we'll have to use google again because the patch is absolutely a joke it used to be very good years ago uh, but you can see rain causes flooding in Ocean County. See, this is Surf City. Look at this. A new wind um, is blowing. So you can see that. That's out of CBS Philadelphia. Uh, flash flooding in Southern Ocean County, but no pictures. You have no pictures. You're useless. Um, flash flood warnings and major flooding in Ocean County. Uh, so you can see flooding in Surf City here. Let's see Yahoo News. Let's see. Got some flooding here. In Surf City here, so let's see what they got here. This is the story from CBS. Uh, look at that. That's insane. So that's Surf City. That's what happens when you get five inches of rain there. Uh, absolutely insane uh, amount of flooding in there. So whoever got the rain, they get five inches, but we don't get anything. It's really very weird. Uh, Slow-moving storms. There isn't much of a jet stream to move things along, and that's why everything is in such disorder right now. Um, so it's absolutely insane. Here's one from the Asbury Park Press. Uh, uh, so a lot of these again not many pictures here um, but I'm sure there'll be some if you know where to look uh, but see the, these are the rainfall reports here look at these rainfall reports over 5 inches in places like Surf City and Harvey Cedars uh, it's just that small isolated area because you had a storm that literally just sat over there and just soaked that whole area um, but for the rest of us I mean nothing Let's go to let's go to the uh, one to ground right now, and we'll look at the precipitation for you, and we'll show you what I mean here. Long Island, I mean, we really just barely got anything here. So up on the North Shore, of course, the North Shore doesn't really need it that much, you know. It's the South Shore. And the South Shore is like bone dry. There's nothing. It gets a little better when you head a little further out east, uh, but the Pine Barrens remain. I, I mean, let's see what we got here. All right, well, I do see a .69 over here. Okay, so this is good. At least they got. A little, a little more in the Pine Barrens here. Looked like maybe there was a cell that popped up in this area of the Pine Barrens and brought some rain at least. Still not enough, but it's a half an inch at least. But most of Long Island just bone dry except for some really isolated areas here. Uh, I mean, uh, and then it gets a little more heavier as you head out toward East Hampton Town where you see over an inch. Uh, but that's what we needed everywhere, and we didn't get it. The models were way off, um, except for that NAM model, which seemed to indicate what was going to happen, and... I guess the NAM was correct. You could see the higher amounts in Westchester, higher amounts in, in northern New Jersey, two inches there in Montclair. So they got the soaking rain. Some of the areas really got drenched, as we saw. Um, and you can see here how localized this was in Ocean County again. So Tom's River itself didn't really get all that much, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch, a little over a quarter of an inch once you head south. Here we go. One site in Berkeley that has 1.33. Fork at River, uh, around an inch. And then look what happens when you head south of here. Uh, this cell right here that wound up hitting parts of Ware Town, 4.29 inches, 3.58 inches into Barnegat, 4.32 inches, 5.16 at Beachview, 6.16 in parts of Ocean Acres. Um, this is insane. Manahawk in almost five inches. So, uh, Eagleswood Township almost five inches. Absolutely insane. It was very, very localized. It was very, very localized. And I'm really curious. We're going to rewind the radar right now. We're going to look at the radar and do the radar rewind and, look, and take a look and see what it looked like when these storms actually wound up hitting that area. And I think it was this morning. Yeah, here's the cell that probably wound up soaking them. So it was overnight. There's that heavy cell right there that wound up hitting them. So right around Ocean Acres, and you can see it took a sweet time, five, six, seven. It kind of took a while to move through, almost an hour, and that's some pretty heavy rain. And then I think they wound up getting some more popping up over them. So kind of just 
trained over that area. You could see what happened. They wind up training right over that area around Southern Ocean County there. Uh, and then you could see more activity here in North Jersey here as we get toward noon. And there was one cell that's like over the North Shore that popped up. Here we are around noon. Uh, some more activity on the other North Shore and then another cell over here. But you can see the heavy stuff mostly avoiding Long Island except for this one cell that wound up hitting East Hampton there. East End wound up getting something. Other than that, I mean, just... And then there was this other cell here. It looked like it was showing some promise, slowly moving in. But it kind of just the southern end of it kind of just slammed Perth Amboy. And then it kind of just, once it got, look at that, boom, just dissipated. Once it got east of the Hudson over New York Bay. Uh, unbelievable, right? Uh, so let's take a look at the models now. And obviously, we'll look at the general pattern for the week. This is going to pull out, and that's it. We're going to be dry uh, for much of this week again. So that was our last chance of rain. And who knows when we'll see rain again, a uh, significant chance of rain. We may have to wait until September. All right, until that next cold front comes through. And there's that tropical system that it keeps trying to generate. That's so far out. I'm not even going to pay attention to that. But it, it's going to remain dry, and it's going to be hot, and it's going to be uh, getting hot and humid again. So let's go to the HRRR model here, and we'll look at the 0Z zero zero run of the HRRR. Obviously, uh, uh, we still have the chance for a pop-up shower with those storm tonight. And tomorrow, we will also have a few more chances during the day. Uh, but it's going to be isolated. But hopefully, maybe... We can get one to pump up in the right spot, i.e. the South Shore, which is really it, really just the worst part, experiencing the worst of this drought right now. Uh, we'll have to see. You know, it's hit or miss uh, what will happen tomorrow. Uh, but after that, then we're fairly dry as we get into Wednesday. So no rain chances after that. Uh, looking at the dew points and wind flow, going to remain humid, southerly flow, becomes a little more westerly tomorrow, and then back to south again because we have this weak circulation that's kind of over us. Humidity will be high, and that will hopefully help to generate some showers and thunderstorms. So we have another small chance of some help tomorrow. Then the winds turn more northwesterly on Wednesday to westerly. That brings in dr somewhat drier air. The dew points go down for a little bit, but it, you can see that that sea breeze along the coast wants to keep those dew points up. Let's go now to the temperatures tomorrow. Won't be all that hot. I think we'll see, again, with that onshore flow and the clouds that will generate in the showers and thunderstorms. Probably only low 80s. Similar temperatures to what we had today. But then we start heating things up as we get toward Wednesday. We'll have mid to upper 80s, near 90 in New Jersey. And then when we want to go past that, uh, you'll see things will heat up even more. As we get into Thursday here on the GFS, you'll see already getting close to 90 on Long Island and in the 90s in New Jersey. And here we are with 90s uh, for Friday over Jersey. And then, yeah, it's going to be warm after that. So this is the problem we have. Uh, and it will be uh, it will be somewhat humid too, but it just won't be enough to generate any widespread showers and thunderstorms. Here we are Thursday, so you get the idea. There'll be some lowering of the dew points, but they come back up again. But unfortunately, as far as rain chances go, um, you can look at the GFS here. Go to total accumulate precip. Look at that. Here we are looking at through next weekend look at this there's a hole right over long island so yeah it's not very hopeful at all unfortunately for rain and this is this is the big problem let's now go to the skies uh and we will do that right now so here you go you see that boundary offshore here's tomorrow actually has a fairly uh fairly sunny day the gfs tomorrow over us uh same thing for wednesday maybe a little a few high clouds riding by to the south and thursday we're clear again and then Friday, we'll have plenty of sunshine. Well, that's the good news. If you like the sun, but it's just going to be dry. Um, it's going to be dry. It's going to. It's not. The air ain't going to be dry. Um, but it's going to. It's going to definitely just be remaining uh, on the dry side. Let's go to the R gem now. Uh, so here we are on the R gem. You can see some of those clouds breaking for some sun in the afternoon tomorrow, and then pop, maybe a chance of a pop-up shower thunderstorm. But it will be very scattered. Um, but hopefully we can get. Some of them to pop up over the island because once we get to Wednesday, that's it. We're in the sun. We're not going to see much rain developing at all. Though it does try to develop some pop-up cloudiness. It may just be a little excessive there. And Thursday also, plenty of sunshine. So this is the problem we have. If we look at the total accumulated precip here on the RGM, you can see nothing for Long Island. We go to the HRRR and go through here, and you can see, once again, very little. And most of them, the South Shore avoids. Most of them will pop up on the North Shore because of that marine flow. So the drought, unfortunately, continues on Long Island. And it's going to get, if you think it's bad now, it's going to get even worse. 
uh, because again, uh, looking for rain, um, I can run this GFS right through. Look at this right through. Let's run it right through the end of August. Look at that. I mean, seriously. I mean, barely anything on Long Island, so it's going to get a lot worse. And maybe, maybe as we get into September, we get some rain chances. But you see all what happened. It's hard to get your hopes up for something. And, and all the models had this. All the models had this. The only model that was right on this was the NAM because the, I was saying the NAM's got to be some kind of outlier or something. It's got to be some outlier. But the NAM was right. And let's run the NAM through. And you see again, all the activity is just away from Long Island. It's like Long Island is like a desert. We have become a desert, uh, you know. It's forming over New Jersey. It's forming over, but because of that, there's a stable layer in the atmosphere that's just preventing these storms from getting going. Um, and there's just no mechanism to create the, the massive lift needed because we, we don't have a jet stream. We don't have any fronts coming through uh, to generate this. So this is all part of uh, what we're dealing with as we ramp things up here in the climate crisis. Um, but anyway, I guess that's going to wrap things up from here. So thank you for watching. And what a shocker, huh? What a shocker today. Uh, I mean, I really thought. Meanwhile, if you're in Jersey, if you're in uh, parts of Ocean County, it's like maybe you'll get some more rain. New Jersey's doing a lot better than we are with the rain right now. Uh, Long Island is really just very, very, very dry. Uh, and this drought's going to get a whole lot worse. And now I'm worried. You know, we've got to worry about brush fires. But we also have to worry about water shortages because that's what we're going to be dealing with next uh, it's going to get real. It's going to get serious. Uh, so uh, that is going to wrap up this weather update. Have a good night, and thank you for watching.